Sitting at the bottom of Lake Shelbyville are more than 1,500 fish habitats. They look like this, and they've been placed there almost every year since 2016 by local anglers and volunteers. Chip Christensen of Chips Marina is one of the inventors of the Shelbyville Cube, based on another habitat called the Georgia Cube. Well, I kind of developed this, the Shelbyville Cube, and that sits about anywhere from 18 to 24 inches up before the Georgia Cube starts. Christensen explains that fish need shelter, just like people. Since Lake Shelbyville is an artificial lake, these fish are in need of a habitat to hide, hunt, and repopulate. When you don't have habitat, a fish and wildlife is no different than we are. And if we don't have homes or houses or shelter, we won't last long. This weekend, volunteers, anglers, and the Army Corps of Engineers are adding more than 100 new shelters. Along with the handmade habitats, they'll add around 600 Christmas trees to the bottom of Lake Shelbyville. Corey Donnell of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says those volunteers have plenty to do. There'll be lots of work to get done, so uh, there'll be something for everybody to do. Uh, just a good pair of gloves and uh, be ready to work. Both Christensen and Donald say without volunteers, this project could not be done. We wouldn't be able to do the project without the volunteers, and the amount of support we've gotten from the beginning has just been tremendous. In Shelbyville, I'm Stephen Elmore reporting, WEIU Newswatch.